Hi everybody, welcome to today's session. In this session, we are going to see another uh, topic in fourth unit, review of probability. As we have seen in the last video, uncertainty, the agent cannot assume what the environment is and act according to those, those assumed data. Hence, uh, the agent should consider multiple possibilities based, based on a degree of belief in the relevant data or sentences. Here, uh, the degree of belief lies between 0 and 1 for all the sentences, that is, the identification of truth of a sentence. And let us see all these things in detail. First, let us see the probability. Probabilities are used to compute the truth of given statement and the probability values uh, written as numbers and that lies between zeros and 1 which describes how likely an event is to occur. Here 0 indicates the possibility, impossibility and 1 indicates certainty. And we learnt probability theory using two popular examples. First one is tossing a coin and second one is rolling a dice. That is what is the probability to get head in a coin or a tail. Both are having 50% possibility because coin has only two sides. And another uh, dice example, we might uh, have calculated the probability to get number 1 in the dice. That is for any number, the possibility is uh, 0.16 percentage, that is 16 percentage because there are 6 sides in a dice. Probability based reasonings are number 1, understanding the knowledge and second, how much of certainty present in that event? The probability provides a way of summarizing the uncertainty that comes from our laziness and ignorance. Laziness means failure to enumerate expressions, quantifiers and etc. Ignorance is a lack of relevant fact, initial conditions and etc. In our toothache problem, we might not know for sure what affects a particular patient but we believe that 80% chance that is the probability of 0.8 that affect patient has cavity if he has toothache. By the previous experience, the 80% summarizes those cases but both toothache and cavities are unconnected. The missing 20% summarizes all the other uh, possible causes of toothache that we are too lazy or ignorant to confirm or uh, deny. Probabilities lies between 0 and 1 corresponding to intermediate degrees of belief in the truth of these sentences. The sentence itself is in fact either true or false. It is important to note that a degree of belief is different from a degree of truth. The possibility of 0 0.8 does not mean 80% true but rather an 80% degree of belief that is a fairly strong expectation. Thus, possibility theory makes the same ontological commitment as logic namely that fact either do or do not hold the old. Degree of truth as opposed to degree of belief is the subject of fuzzy logic. In probability theory, a sentence such as the possibility that the patient has cavity is 0.8 is about the agent's belief not directly about the world. These percepts create the evidence which are based on probability statements. All probability statements must indicate the evidence with respect to that probability is being assessed. If an agent receives new perspects its probability assessments are updated to reflect the new evidence. The next is random variables. Uh, random variables referring to a part of the world that is that may be any random value whose initial status is unknown. And we can use the lower case for uh, name of the values. Here a is a random variable then probability of a equal to 1 minus probability of not a or otherwise we can write probability of a plus probability of not a is equal to 1. Next we will take one example that is our uh, tossing coin example to get head 
uh, from the tossing coin p of h is equal to 1 minus p of not h that is the probability of uh, p of h is 0 0.5 then we can write 0 0.5 equal to 1 minus 0 0.5 or otherwise 0 0.5 plus 0 0.5 equal to 1 next uh, the another example rolling dice from the rolling dice we can get any particular number p of n is equal to 1 minus p of not n so the value p of n is uh, 0 0.16 so, this 0 0.16 is equal to 1 minus 0 0.84. That means 0 0.16 plus 0 0.84 is equal to number 1. Next, we will see the type of random variables. Here, we are having three different types of uh, random variables. First one is Boolean random variable. Second one is discrete ra random variable. And third one is continuous random variable. The Boolean random variable has only two values. For example, our cavity domain, if cavity is true or false. If cavity is true, then we can simply write cavity, small case letters cavity. Or otherwise, if cavity is false, then we can write not cavity. So, here not cavity is represent the false value and simply cavity is represent the true value. And next one is discrete random variables. Here, we are having a discrete number of values for a particular domain. For example, we can take weather domain. The weather is having four uh, values here, sunny, rainy, cloudy and snow. If the weather is cloudy, then we can simply write weather equal to cloudy. The next one is continuous random variables. Here we are uh, having a finite set of real numbers with equal intervals. We can take any interval based on our uh, application or domain. For example, if x is a random variable, then we can write x is less than or equal to 2.5. The next one is atomic events. It is very useful to understand the foundation of probability theory. It is a complete specification of state of a particular world about which the agent is uncertain. It can be an assignment of uh, particular values to all the variables of which the world is composed. That is we are going to assign values for the variables in the world and atomic events have some important properties that are mutually exclusive that is at most one can actually be the case for example cavity and toothache are unconnected then the statements cavity and toothache and cavity and not toothache that is both cannot be the case we can use any one statement at a time and next one is the set of all possible atomic events is exhaustive at least one must be the case any one we have to take and next one any particular atomic event entails the truth or falsehood of every proposition whether simple or complex for example cavity and not toothache represents truth of cavity and the falsehood of toothache any proposition is logically equivalent to the disjunction of all atomic events that require the truth of proposition. The next one is prayer probability. It is otherwise called as unconditional probability which is associated with the proposition A. A is a degree of belief according to the absence of any other information. And the prayer probability can be written as P of A. For example, if the prayer probability that one can one have cavity is 0 0.1 then we can write p of cavity equal to true is equal to 0 0.1 or otherwise p of cavity is equal to 0 0.1 because the cavity is simply true if p of not cavity means cavity is equal to false and it is important to remember that p of a can be used only when there is no other information we can take one expression p of weather which denotes a vector of values here the weather variables are sunny rainy cloudy and snow for the probabilities of each individual states of weather we can write p of uh, weather equal to sunny is 0 
and uh, rain probability is 0.2, cloudy probability is 0.08 and snow probability is 0.02. Instead of writing 4 uh, different statements, we can simply write PF weather equal to 0 0.7, 0 0.2, 0 0.08 and 0 0.02. That is the value will be assigned correspondingly to the weather variables. That is the random variables. This statements defines a prior probability distribution of random variable weather. The another important one is conditional probability. It is otherwise called as uh, posterior probability. The notation of uh, conditional probability is P of A gives B. That is P of A slash B, where A and B are uh, any propositions. This can be read as the probability of A given all we know is B. For example, P of cavity gives toothache is equal to 0 0.8. That is, if the patient is observed to have toothache and no other information is available, then the probability of patients having cavity will be 0 0.8. That is, the cavity is uh, present only because of toothache and uh, no other information is available. The conditional probabilities can be defined in terms of unconditional probabilities. The equation is P of A gives B is equal to P of A and B divided by P of B whenever p of b is greater than 0. This equation can also be written as p of a and b is equal to p of a gives b multiplied by p of b which is otherwise called as product rule that is product rule. In this equation if we want p of a and b is equal to true then p of a is also true and we should also have p of b should also be true. If B is true, then only we will get A and B is equal to true. The basic axioms of uh, probability, that is uh, the proverbs of probability are, all probabilities are lies between 0 and 1 for any proposition A. 0 less than or equal to P of A less than or equal to P of 1. That is P of A value should lies between 0 and 1. And next one is necessarily true that is the satisfied proposition have the probability 1 and necessarily false that is unsatisfiable probability is false. We can write this as P of true is equal to 1 and P of false is equal to 0. The probability of disjunction is P of A union B is equal to P of A plus P of B minus P of A and B. And that's all about today's session. In the next class, we will see in detail about the probability in Bayes theorem and the Bayesian network. Now the question time. And so many questions there. And try to list out all possible two more questions in this session. Thank you all of you.